Hi there digital makers and welcome to this week's Digital Making at Home from the Raspberry Pi Foundation. My name is Mark, here's my son Jimmy, my normal psychic, Hello. and I've got a very special guest this week. I have my little nephew here. What's your name? Noah. Hi Noah, say hello to everyone at home, Noah. Hello. And how old are you, Noah? Six. You're six years old. And have you done much scratch before, Noah? Mm, I've done a few scratch juniors, but only one normal scratch. And you did that with me, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah, we, I came over to your house and we, and we played around with scratch. So today we're going to do a really simple scratch project. Mm -hmm. So our theme for this week is looking after yourself. And in fact, it's going to be a theme for much of September. We're going to work through some brand new scratch projects that the Raspberry Pi Foundation have produced um, for you. And we're going to work through a few of them. We're going to do some on our videos on demand that we do and release every Monday. And we're also going to do some on our live stream with Mr. C and Christina. So check out our live stream on Wednesday. It's coming to you at a different time this month. It's going to be coming at 5.30 British Standard Time. <coughs> Are you okay there, Noah? I'm just got a cough. It's going to come at 5.30 British Standard Time. And that's to take into account that a lot of schools are going to be going back and a lot of children won't be around <coughs> at our normal time. So let's get started with our project, shall we? So Jimmy, do you want to um, just share Noah's screen for us? Yep. Okay, so uh, we've got Scratch up. Yes, Noah? Yeah. You happy? Good, all right then. So Jimmy, do you want to start him off? So, no, we're going to start off by deleting this mm. scratch sprite here. Uh -huh. So if you grab the mouse and just mm. click that little rubbish bin button. Mm. Blue one. There you go. Just left click. Oops. There you go. There we go. Alright, so now what you want to do is you want to drag your mouse down to this blue button, which is the add sprite button, and you want to click on the search. So pull the mouse up a bit. You're going to drag that down and now hit the um, magnifying glass. There you go. Choose a sprite. Excellent. Okay, so mm. we want a, for our dress ball, we want a ball sprite, Noah. How do we find person? Is it? Wrong? So it's all done alphabetically. And since we're looking for B, it's going to be after A. So your ball, ball sprite's there. Excellent. Yellow. All right. So now we're going to go over to costumes. Costumes. And which colour ball do you want? Uh, so you can pick blue. Some yellow. Um, okay. Dark blue, please. Uh, there's only dark. a light blue now. Okay, then light blue then. That's it, alright. There we go. And then Jimmy, you take over again. So we're going to draw on some eyes and a mouth. Can I draw the eyes? So I'll pick circle and set the filter black. And you want to draw the eyes? Yeah. All right. It's so there you go. Do we just have to click on it? You need so to I click and drag, Noah. So you need to click. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, click and hold it down, and then move the mouse. Make an eye. There you go. Perfect. Now do, do another one. one. Good. And then do uh, one for the mouth as well, Noah. Yeah. Amazing. Right, Jimmy, do you want to do a little bit of quick resizing on those and just a yeah. little movement around? No, just on the on the um, shapes, is, that's it. Aww. We're just going to make a, a tiny little bit of a change now. We're not much of a change, okay? There we go, that's fine. We don't want it to look perfect. We want it to look a bit silly, don't we? Yeah. Yeah, are you happy with that? Yeah. Would you like to add anything else to your mm. sprite? Anything else that people have on their faces or anything like that? Little dot for a little dot for your nose. Okay, Jimmy, do you want to select the circle spike, uh, circle tool for him again then, and we'll put a little dot on for the nose. I want the nose to be a square. You want it a square? Okay, then okay. let's do a square then. <laughs> there you go. Go on then. You have to drag it again, though. So click and drag. Oh, it's a huge nose. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Let's make it a little bit smaller again. <laughs> Excellent. Okay then. Right, let's go back onto the code then. So what we're going to do in this is we're going to make it so that when you click on that stress ball, um, it's going to change its shape and it's going to change its size a little bit. 
and it's going to make a silly noise and then it's going to go back to itself. So if you were feeling a bit stressed and a bit worn out, you could keep clicking this thing um, just to relieve a little bit of boredom and, and, and make yourself nice and chilled. It's a bit small at the moment in the middle of that screen, isn't it? Yeah. Do you want to do the typing for Noah on the, mm. um, just do it on the, um, on the tool. What That's noise it. Go to it two, make? 200 probably or 300. What's that the size of? Um, what noise? 2,300. Brilliant. And um. What noise will it make? You're going to get to choose the noise, yeah? Put them in the centre. Right? You can choose whatever noise you like in a minute. I want the noise to be. You want to like a, a, a farty noise? <laughs> yeah? yeah? Okay then. <laughs> we'll see if they've got one of those. If okay not, then. So if not, let's, I'll make a let's get Noah to start building beep, that script then, Jim. Beep, beep, All right. Beep, beep, so Noah, if you can start beep, off by dragging this when green flag clicked. No, no, we want it when sprite clicked. Don't oh, we? sorry. When sprite clicked. So yeah, that one. And just you, drag it out. Just like you did with the circle, Noah. You need to hold down the mouse and then move it. That's it. Brilliant. There you go. Where? Just anywhere, anywhere on that screen. That's fine. Uh -huh. yeah. So, um, what we're going to do now well is so when the spray is clicked, we want it to change how it looks a bit. So if we go into looks, here, oh, here, um, can you grab the change colour effect by 25? So, yep, and just attach that. I think we want the colour effect. Oh, yeah, 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 you're right, you're right, you're right. Ignore me. There you go. <laughs> and now which effect do you want? Uh, do you mm. want colour, fish eye, what or do you want to play around? Choose choose one of them. Uh, colour. Okay. Colour, okay. And now click on the sprite and see what it does. So click, you click on that blue, on your blue thing and see what happens. <laughs> now, now try a different one. So go back to the colour effect. Wait, do we have to click it again to turn blue? If you click it again, it'll change colour again. Yeah. Blue again. There you go. Okay, so um, <laughs> let's let's see what some of the other ones look like now. So can you see where it says color and that little downward arrow? Can you click that and choose something different? Ghost is a bit boring. It just makes it transparent. Brightness is a bit boring. Try pixelate or whirl or fisheye. Pixelate. So now click on it and see what happens. <laughs> Do you like that one? Do you want to try the well one quickly? Oh, so we have to. Go <laughs> <laughs> keep going, keep going. Do you want to? Um, do you want to just? Clear. Do set. If you go on to clear, yeah. You just yeah. Hit clear graphic effects. Clear graphic effects. So if you just click that button, Noah. Click on. Just click on that. You don't need to drag anywhere, Noah. That's it. Let's try the whirl one and see what that looks like. Oh, okay. Should we try whirl? I'm making. I bet it's gonna make people dizzy. You <laughs> go and try whirl. That's it. Whirl. Well. <laughs> nah. Do you like that one? Yeah. Okay, so it's making. Okay, just go back and go back. Oh, our dog's gone off. Go back on that clear graphic effect again. That's it. And now we need to choose a number, don't we, Jim? I so would like. I like the pixel one. I'm gonna set this twenty-five to one hundred. I like that pixel one. Okay. Well, what we'll do as soon as we have made this one, yeah. Do you want to add we can make it. We can make another one that's a pixel one, yeah. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Or we could do a Wally pixel one. Ooh, Wally pixel one. Yeah, if you want. I want to do that, please. Yeah, a Wally right. pixel one. Yeah. So we're going to set that change wall effect to 100. So now whenever we click it, well, it's a lot more. Uh. Now we can clear the graphic effect. <laughs> That's funny. All right, so the next <coughs> thing we want to do is if, as if you're like squeezing it, mm -hmm. we want to make it a bit smaller because whenever you squeeze something, it gets a bit smaller. So what you want to do is you want to grab the set lock. size button. Set size. Can you see? That's it. Set size, not change size. Now that's change size, Noah. Oops. Set size, that's the one. Perfect. And now just drag that underneath the change wall. And okay. we're gonna change this to let's go five hundred. Fifty percent. That's gonna make it bigger. Oh no, it isn't. Oh, I see. I see what you mean. There we go. <laughs> 
Do you want, we want minus 50%. If we clear all graphic effects and set the size up to 200. Um. Maybe it's really small. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. It's bold, Clicker. <laughs> Do we have it on 300? Yeah. There we go, yeah. <laughs> it stayed world. It might be 150, right? Mm -hmm. Alright, so <laughs> now that we've got a set size to 150%, if we click it, it will say it's size to 150%, which is half its original size. So yeah. we'll set that back up to 300, and what we'll do next is we'll make a sound. Yeah? Uh huh. Right, you get to choose the sound now, Noah. Where do we get that from? So, what we're going to do is we're going to go into sounds up here. Do, 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 do. Would we do? And then no, you it. do want to change size. No, set size is fine. Because you started off at 300% and then you've set the size down to 150% and then we'll set the size back up to 300% at the end, yeah? Oh, yeah. So you could what use change mean? size. That would have been fine. But you've used set size. It doesn't, it's it's absolutely fine. Oh, okay, sorry. Robot. What is a robot? Um, nice size. So, which sound do you want? Do you have boing? 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 What does robot do? It's all robot. Robot. So if we click robot, it will change how the how it sounds. We can go and import a new sound, can't we? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So down here we can hit choose a sound, and now you can pick from a bunch of different sounds. Guitar. Guitar. So all you need to do is hit that play button. With the left mouse button, Noah. Yeah. Come on, click. Okay. I did. It's, oh, what? If you go into um, Wacky, Wacky, and then have a look at some of these, squeaky toy. So if you hit the purple button, go on, just click on them. <laughs> <laughs> Which one do you fancy now? You want that one? Yeah. Okay, so, um, brilliant. So we have... Yeah. <laughs> All right then, let's go back to our code then. And now what we want to do is whenever we click it, we want it to play a sound. So if you can grab that play sound, ta-da, until done. And just put that in underneath everything. That's it, put it right down at the bottom. And now, <laughs> try clicking on the ball, Noah. you can use any sound effect you want you can go and play around and experiment with different sound effects till you get the one you want okay what do we want now Jim uh, so now what we want to do is we want to clear all the graphic effects so yeah. if you grab if you drag that underneath mm -hmm. the tada can you see the clear graphic effects Noah mm -hmm. it's the down a bit oh. no that's change color down a bit just click, click off that where do we, how do we do that? You just click anywhere that isn't That's there. It. Clear graphic effects. <laughs> Can you read that? Clear graphic effects. There you go. And now... Uh, let's try it. So can you see the the um, uh, the world goes away now, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah, and, but we want to make it bigger again, don't we? E so how do we make it bigger again, Jim? So we can grab this set size to 300%. 300%. And we'll just put that underneath. And now, if you click on the sprite. What's, oh, this. There you go. <laughs> and it'll get big, and you can click it again. Oh my gosh. Okay, oh click him again. Brilliant. Now then, do you, want, do you want that plain white background or do you want a different background? Hmm. How about like a park? Or a Play park. Okay then. So park. you want to click this choose a backdrop button and you want to click on the magnifying glass. That's it. Mm. And now you've got lots to choose from. What do you think? So you can scroll down. There you go. 
There's playground. There's playing field. Playground. Brilliant. Go on in. Click it. <laughs> Amazing, Noah. All right. Jim, do you want to show him how to really quickly and show everyone at home as well how to quickly make a second stress ball by just copying the spray? Yep, so all you need to do is right click on the first ball, hit duplicate, and now we have here our second ball. Can you please move it? And I can tell that to pixelate, for example. And then <laughs> right, let Noah choose a different sound now because you wanted to pixelate one, didn't you, Noah? Yep. So, so if you, you click on ball two. Ball two. Okay, let's choose a different sound. So go back to, can you see up at the top there, there it says sounds. Can you click on that? Where is Note that? down and right to the right. That's it, where it says sounds. Click that mm -hmm. and then come down to where that microphone icon is, down right at the bottom and just click on that. Magnifying yeah, click there. Glass. Yeah, you want to click the magnifying glass. Yeah, and then go to wacky again. To the right, to the right, keep going. Wacky. That's the one. Click that and then choose a different sound. What's I like squeaky toy. What's scrambling? What's what? Scrambling. Scrambling, I don't know. Have a, have a listen to this one now, I see what that one sounds like. Oh, that was good. Do you want that one? Okay, click that. Good. And then go back to your code, Noah. So back onto the code tab up at the top left. Brilliant. And then it? instead of play sound to da, you want to change that to scramble. Can you please do? Yep, yeah, Jimmy, you can do it. So you just left click on Tada, and all you need to do is change it to Scrambling Feet, and then we have a little bit of a Alright, well done both of you on doing that. Was that fun Noah? Yes. So thank you very much everyone for um, watching with us today. Thank you very much for your excellent tutorial, Jimmy. No problem. And thank you very much for coding, Noah. That was excellent. Well done. Did you enjoy doing that? Well done. Good. If you want to do this project yourself, you can check it out at rpf.io <laughs> rpf forward slash dm stress hyphen ball and if you couldn't hear me because Noah was doing so much clicking then um, we'll, we'll put the link up for you on the bottom of the video um, don't forget if you want to share your projects with us go to rpf.io forward slash home so if you've given a go at this you come up with even more stress balls and you've done wacky things and given them hair and all different sound effects and stuff like that please do share them with us also if you want to come on our live stream with us and do a bit of coding with mr c and christina you can also leave a comment there for us at rpf.io forward slash home so thank you very much everybody we will see you all again soon don't forget to check out the live stream at 5 30 bst um, on Wednesday when Mark and Christina will be working through a project called Butterfly Garden which is the next project in the series of looking after yourself um, and other than that I think we'll say goodbye so say goodbye, goodbye Jimmy bye. and say goodbye Noah goodbye and thank you you're a little internet troll aren't you <laughs> thank you very much everyone and we'll see you all again soon bye bye goodbye